Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be way different than anything I've ever done. Um, as you can tell from the title though, uh, I'm going to show you guys everything I bought to kind of prep and prepare for kind of staying inside, practicing social distancing, stuff like that because we all know what's going on in the world right now and it's crazy. It's like actually very bizarre and weird. I feel like everybody just feels kind of weird right now because they don't know what to do. Um, but I don't really want to get into it. Everybody's talking about it. And then this this video isn't to scare anybody. It's not to make you go panic and like buy a bunch of stuff. I do not think we went overboard or excessive. We got what we normally get and then a little extra, you know, just in case. Because you never know what's going to happen. So I just want everyone to be prepared. This video is just to kind of show you guys what we did to prepare. So I hope it can help you guys. So, yeah, I'm not going to get into it. I just hope everybody stays safe, practices uh, social distancing, and stuff like that. So, let's all just be aware of everything right now. That's what we just need to do. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, let's just jump into the video. All right, so I'm going to show you guys this stuff first. So, I just want to put a disclaimer. We always get this stuff at Sam's Club. We did not bulk buy because of the coronavirus, we always get our toilet paper and baby wipes and stuff like this. We actually get a lot of stuff at Sam's Club. And the toilet paper we actually bought last week before everyone was going crazy buying all the toilet paper. You do not need this much toilet paper. Some people have been trying to buy even like 10 packs of these, you guys. They actually had to put a limit on it. All the regular grocery stores, Walmart, everything is sold out. Um, Honestly, to get by for a couple weeks, maybe 10 rolls at most, but I just want to say we got this before everything and we actually needed it. We've already used some of it, so that's why. You might think that's a little excessive, but I just wanted to say we always get that amount of toilet paper along with this amount of baby wipes and diapers. The wipes we're out of as well. As you can tell, we've already used a pack out of there, and then the diapers we were running low on, but we did... Uh, get another box. I'm glad we got the diapers and wipes and the toilet paper when we did. We got this last week, but I just wanted to show you guys just in case you didn't think of getting stuff like that as well um, because all of this stuff has been sold out now, especially the diapers and the wipes. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, the toilet paper and the wipes. This stuff has been sold out now, like every day, everywhere. So, yeah, this is kind of the big stuff daily necessities for your baby. To wipe your butt I mean honestly I would use a towel if I had to so just keep that in mind I mean I know people are even buying bidets off of Amazon because there's no toilet paper left okay so this kind of all just like random um, I'm gonna go through and show you guys everything a lot of this we were actually low on and needed I just wanted to make sure that we had some backups just in case we ran out we didn't have to go to the store you know practice social distancing as much as we can um, Milo was actually all out of his lotion so we picked this up at Sam's Club it's just his moisturizing lotion and then the Vaseline he does have really bad eczema so we put this on first after his bath and then we put that lotion on over top of it and this was buy one get one half off so we got two of those because he was all out of it and then he was running low on his body wash so we picked up another one of those and then here we got um, some vitamins Brian got those I have all of my vitamins and stuff like that and we also have a lot of like NyQuil and Tylenol and just sick medicine for us and we also have that for Milo already. And then Milo did need some more diaper rash cream, so we picked this up as well. Another tip, if you guys have prescription medications or anything like that, I would just get uh, a refill of it all. Um, just in case, if we're stuck inside for a few weeks, you don't wanna run out of your prescription medication, which pharmacies may be open, who knows. So Milo does have some allergy medication I got a refill on. And he also has albuterol for his asthma. So I got a refill of that. I got um, refills of his two lotions that he has a prescription for for his eczema. And then I also got my prescription of my medication, which I cannot run about out of that. We got some 
hand soap from Sam's Club. This was all they had left, so we needed some of that. They were all out of hand sanitizer. They were all sold out of cleaning products, um, but we do have some, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, we needed vacuum bags, not really anything to do with it. We just needed some. So these are the disinfectant wipes that we actually have on hand. I think I have like two full ones left, so we didn't need any of these. Uh, people, you really don't need to stock up like by packs of them. You just need a couple packs. Um, they've been sold out basically everywhere though. Um, but I think I heard if you have vinegar or bleach or um, like rubbing alcohol and stuff, you can make a cleaner and hand sanitizer or whatever. So. Uh, if you don't have any of this stuff, I would definitely look up some like natural ways you can make it at home if you do have some of those products. Um, but I think we're good. We have this. We have like Lysol spray. Um, really, you only need a lot of this stuff if somebody in your house does get sick and you need to disinfect everything if they are in a quarantine. All right, so I'm going to kind of show you guys like the fresh food that I got first, which is stuff we always get. We're not like hoarding everything. Um... We got our normal like fresh groceries and then we kind of stocked up on non-perishables which I'll show you here in a second. Um, but we always get cuties. Milo loves these so we got these from Sam's Club and then we just got a bunch of bananas and then right there that's stuff we already have which we'll go through. I use lemons every day for my celery juice. Milo and Brian both like the big oranges. We have some cherry tomatoes and then three bananas left. But I'll start up here. So back there we did get another milk for Milo and then um, an almond milk right there for like my protein shakes and stuff like that. We did get this like ranch veggie dip. Brian and Milo both like those. So for fruit in here, for berries, we just got some strawberries and blueberries. And then right here I got some this is just a couple lunch meats that we got from Sam's Club. We have a couple like stuffed chickens, like wrapped in bacon. Um, we have some turkey bacon right here um, in the foil. We have two things of eggs that we got from Sam's Club. And then in here, um, we had basically all of this. We did get an extra thing of shredded cheese and then these cheese slices. Um, but everything else, like Milo eats string cheese and stuff like that, we already have all that. And then I make celery juice every morning, so I did get, um, I think there's three of them here. Yeah, so I did get three celeries, which will last me like, only like a week. So then in here, we got some carrots, another cucumber, because Milo loves cucumbers, and uh, he dips it in that ranch. Um, we have a full bag of jalapenos. And then a head of lettuce. Okay, so here's what the pantry looks like. Um, it's a lot more than we normally would have. There's stuff down there too as well. But I'm actually going to start down here and show you. So those things right there we picked up. We actually have a soda stream to make sparkling water. But we picked up a couple of those CO2 things. And then down there, we did get a small thing of little potatoes. Uh, there's a sweet potato and a couple onions, which we already had. So we did pick up a ton of paper plates because we, I hate doing dishes. And I got a ton of paper plates so we didn't have to go buy more. Nature's Bakery Fig Bars, which Milo is obsessed with these. He has one like every day for a snack. So had to pick up extra of those. I did not do this. A Brian got ramen noodles. Um, it's literally like a 40 pack, I think, from Sam's Club. So that's a little excessive. Um, but he says he'll eat it. It's not going to go bad for a while. So whatever. So basically, these are all of my protein shakes, which would last me a long time. We have some like applesauce pouches. We didn't just get those. So what we did get were some like cheese it crackers for Milo and then we got some more of the crunch master multi-grain crackers which we all love they are gluten-free if you guys didn't know I eat gluten-free got some graham crackers for Milo back there we did have emergency on hand anyways but we did pick up a couple of these electrolyte mixed drinks just in case we do get sick you have to stay hydrated okay so like this stuff up here like the canned goods and 
box stuff we did buy more of, which we normally don't buy a lot of. We give these to Milo every once in a while, um, but they were all sold out at Walmart and our other grocery store. So they did have these. They're rice pasta and cheddar. They're just the gluten-free ones. So I got two of those for him. So I did pick up one of these gluten-free pastas. Our Walmart was all out of the Bonza pasta, which is normally what I use when I make pasta, but they did have this, so I just grabbed that. I grabbed a couple of these brown basmati rice packets, because this was all the brown rice that I had left. And then we did pick up this package of quinoa, because we do eat a lot of brown rice and quinoa. I did pick up a pack of these Nature's Path um, they're like quinoa, brown rice, pop tart things that Milo likes sometimes for breakfast, so I got him though. Okay, so from Sam's Club, we did get a pack of this Campbell's chicken noodle soup, and then we got some of these black beans and, uh, green beans. So they all come in like a 12 pack, so I didn't like just take everything off the shelf. It was just one pack we got of each, so nothing crazy. And then right here, this was just canned goods that we already had. We did have some green beans. Uh, we did pick up a, another package of peanut butter from uh, Sam's Club because we were running low. I don't know why both of these are open. They're both really low. I did pick up this. This is like a Swerve brown sugar replacement. Um, it is like zero carb. It's like a keto thing, um, but I do, do use it sometimes when I bake stuff for me because I don't want to have they don't have a lot of calories and stuff like that and we do have some oatmeal back there I didn't get any um I did get another thing of this coffee that I got from Sam's Club just because I was almost running out of this one so I picked up another full one of those and then up there Brian did get a thing of popcorn he loves popcorn so he got a box of that from Sam's Club and then I did pick up I think I have like, yeah, three paper towels that I got from Walmart up there. So nothing crazy. I did obviously buy a little extra of what we normally would, especially like the non-perishables and stuff in here. Um, but it's not going to go to waste. It all has a super long shelf life. So just in case, because we are staying home as of now. So here's basically what it looks like. I'm not going to pull everything out. I'm just going to kind of go through and tell you everything we got. We got a lot more frozen stuff than we normally would. Um, like berries and stuff like that. We normally buy a lot of fresh berries and like a lot of fresh um, veggies like green beans and broccoli. But we got it all frozen. Um, so we got like a ton of these frozen broccolis and mixed veggies for me and my little Brian. Um, they're just like the steamer bags. We got a ton of those. And then we got a couple bags of chicken, just like chicken breast. Um, there's chicken nuggets. We got a couple grass-fed beef. Um, I had like salmon and shrimp and stuff in there anyways. Um, we have ground turkey, another thing of turkey bacon down there. I feel like that's a lot a lot of vegetables and a lot of meats we will eat it um and we always buy that stuff in bulk anyways like at sam's club we only like to kind of make one big trip like that once a month or so um but we did get some like shredded hash browns and then we got a ton of berries so we got like blueberries uh, i know we have strawberries some mango and pineapple for like smoothies and stuff and just so it'll stay fresher obviously um I feel like that's basically it. Frozen meat, frozen fruit, and frozen vegetables is basically what's in our freezer. And then like a couple random things we already had in there. I do have two cases of water. So, I mean, some other stuff you might want to think about is like laundry detergent. We actually bought this full one last week when we got the toilet paper and stuff. Um, but if you're like running low or you don't have any, or if somebody does get sick, you obviously have to like clean everything, including bed sheets and clothes. So you want to make sure that you have enough fabric or enough um, laundry detergent. And then also up here, we already have this on hand, um, but obviously you can use this to clean. As you can see, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs so you want to make sure you have a bleach I know stuff like that is selling out everywhere but I feel like that's kind of something that everybody usually always has on hand 
um, at least us. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's kind of everything that you should have. Okay guys, so that is everything that we kind of got to prepare for kind of social distancing and staying inside for a little while. I do not think we went overboard, like I said. Maybe you think we did. Um, maybe you think we don't have enough. Um, everybody's different. We have a small kind of family. It's only three of us, so I think we have plenty to get by for the next few weeks. So I just want to say I hope you guys all stay safe, stay inside, kind of follow um, the CDC guidelines and practice social distancing. Um, that's kind of how we're going to stop the spread from like increasing so fast. Uh, we definitely do not want to get how it is over in Italy. We want to avoid that. So I just want everyone to stay safe, stay positive, and then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.